And a developing story for you, Madonna and Britney Spears at the center of a terror threat, if you can believe it today. In an interview with World Net Daily's Jerusalem Bureau Chief, a Palestinian terrorist calls them prostitutes who deserve to die. Listen to this. I will have the honor, and I repeat, I will have the honor to be the first one to cut the head of Madonna and of Britney Spears if they will keep spreading their satanic culture against Islam and if they will not uh, respect Islam and Allah laws. All right, with us now, the reporter who got those chilling words on tape, Aaron Klein. Aaron, um, why Madonna and Britney? This was uh, from a book, Schmoozing with Terrorists, which I wrote, which is out this week. And I was talking to them about what life would be like in America if the terrorists take over. So this wasn't time for Madonna's visit while she was here. It was part of the book, Schmoozing with Terrorists. Uh, and they told me uh, that, among other things, if terrorists take over the United States, which I was talking to them about, that they would kill some of our pop culture icons, particularly Madonna, and Britney Spears, who they heard of before, and they accuse of spreading satanic American culture around the Middle East and around the world. All right, uh, so they obviously didn't have a chance to see Britney's Radio City performance Sunday. That would have maybe changed that. But let, let, let me ask you about what happens now. I mean, if they are still saying American culture is evil and satanic and the great Satan must be stopped, um, some, the, the rap hasn't changed here at all. No, it certainly hasn't changed. And, and these are people, I talk with a lot of people in the West Bank and the Gaza Strip terror organizations who are really emboldened by some of our celebrities, not only Madonna and Britney, but I talk to them about Sean Penn uh, and Jane Fonda, uh, who have been anti-Iraq war. Sean Penn has gone on solidarity visits uh, to Iran. And when these terrorists do that, uh, when, when these celebrities do that, it is really heard here in the Middle East by the terror organizations, and it emboldens them to, to believe that they're winning and that we're losing the war on terror. All right, but it's interesting that it goes on to tell you, unfortunately, I heard the names of Madonna and Spears on Arab television when parents complain that their children neglect their studies and their values because they are influenced by your cheap American music that you call culture. Now, if I'm to take that at, at face value, Aaron, whether we're in Iraq or not, they still can't stand us. They, they certainly can't stand us. They, they, they see this kind of culture. They see our music, our movies. It is heard here in the Middle East. And what they're particularly concerned about, apparently, is that we're influencing their youth. Uh, and so it's incredible that who would think Madonna and Britney are being paid attention to by our terror enemies, but they are. And again, not only Madonna and Britney, they, they know about MTV, VH1, even the news networks. I talked in my book, Schmoozing with Terrorists, uh, again, about what the Al-Qaeda and other terror groups would do if they take over the United States. And among other things, aside from threatening Madonna and Britney, they also said they would, they would close down some of our news agencies, including the New York Times. And they took particular offense, incredibly, by the way, at Fox News Channel. Wow. So Brittany and Fox News, we have something in common. All right, Aaron, thank you very much. Aaron Klein. Huh.